Hi guys Sportsia News Briefs. Messi and Mbappe back in training after beating Ronaldo. Real Madrid keep away from Mbappe for now. Al Nasser want to pair up Ronaldo with Marcelo. Chelsea join Real Madrid and Barca in fight for Malo Gusto. Transfer gossip. Man United find new striker target, a legend to retire. NFL Eagles blow out Giants, remind everyone how dominant they have been all season. Now the news in detail. Messi and Mbappe back in training after beating Ronaldo. Riyadh season faced Paris Saint-Germain in a friendly at the King Fahd International Stadium in Saudi Arabia. The clash ended 5-4 for Gaultier's side despite Ronaldo's efforts. Mbappe and Messi have returned to training with PSG two days after the meeting. Deafening fireworks closed Thursday's exhibition between Lionel Messi's PSG and a composite team led by Saudi Pro League new arrival Cristiano Ronaldo, won 5-4 by the visitors. The friendly had all the trimmings of a major fixture, complete with VAR, flamethrowers, ticker tape and a medal presentation in front of more than 60,000 fans at the venerable King Fahd Stadium. Ronaldo was decked by PSG goalkeeper Navas's flailing fist but he drilled the resulting penalty and then added another in a 5-4 exhibition defeat. For Qatar-owned PSG, Messi and Kylian Mbappe both scored and Neymar missed a penalty before they withdrew on the hour mark alongside Ronaldo. Gaultier's side returned to training on Saturday for their upcoming match against Pays de Castle in the French Cup. Lionel Messi, Kylian Mbappe and Neymar trained together at PSG's training complex after the big friendly celebration in Riyadh. Meanwhile, Morocco international Ashraf Hakimi has remained in Riyadh to attend the Joy Awards and will resume training on Sunday. Real Madrid keep away from Mbappe for now. Despite the back there had been rumours of Real Madrid approaching Kylian Mbappe in recent days, Marca denies that that contact has taken place. Real Madrid are not thinking of getting into that game as they did last season and left empty-handed. Kylian Mbappe renewed for PSG in May 2022, when everything seemed to suggest that he would play for Real Madrid. Something which obviously did not go down well at all at the Santiago Bernabeu. Since then, Real Madrid are keeping an eye on what is happening with the PSG striker but things have changed, Marca says. Al Nasser want to pair up Ronaldo with Marcelo. Al Nasser are not stopping in their search for stars for their team. The Saudi Arabian side, after signing Cristiano Ronaldo and having Sergio Busquets and Sergio Ramos on their radar, are now looking to bring the Portuguese striker together with one of his former teammate, Marcelo Vieira. Marcelo changed his life in the summer transfer window. After a lifetime at Real Madrid, where he arrived as a teenager from Brazil, the left-back left the club after the end of his contract and as the player with the most titles at the club. Chelsea join Real Madrid and Barca in fight for Malo Gusto. Chelsea are the latest team to show interest in Malo Gusto. He is a 19-year-old fullback who plays for Lyon and Real Madrid, Barcelona and Man United also like him. That said, the French international has a contract until 2024 and will not leave for less than €35 million. Euros. Malo Gusto keeps on attracting new interest. The young Lyon player, one of the footballers with the greatest projection at the moment, is wanted by the likes of Real Madrid, Barcelona and Man United. Transfer gossip. Man United find new striker target, a legend to retire. Sunday started with a done deal as Craig Dawson swapped West Ham for Wolves, where he has signed a two-and-a-half-year deal. Manchester United's summer search for a striker has now led them to consider Dusan Vlahovic but 90 minutes state that for Juventus to come to the table and consider such a move, they would want to at least recoup the fee they paid Fiorentina for his services. Several newspapers in England also claim that David De Gea is eager to finish his career at Manchester United and is willing to sign a new deal on reduced terms to do so. Manchester City are set to win the race for another exciting Argentine talent, with Morshimo Perón looking likely to pick them when he leaves Vélez Sarsfield, according to the Daily Mail.
Regardless of that deal, the Athletic report that City are keen to tie Ilke Gundogan down to a new contract, with his current term set to expire this summer. The Mirror reports that Chelsea will return with an improved bid for Brighton's Moises Caicedo after having an initial £55 million bid rejected and will go back with an offer closer to the Seagull £65 million asking price. But on the incoming front for Brighton, they have submitted a concrete offer of €25 million Euros to Roma for Nicolo Zaniolo, Il Tempo State, although that falls well below Roma's asking price for the playmaker. Reliable sources at West Ham claim that if Declan Rice does depart as expected this summer, with Arsenal leading the race for his signature, then Manchester United Scott McTominay has been earmarked as his replacement. NFL Eagles blowout giants remind everyone how dominant they have been all season. The Philadelphia Eagles have played 16 games this season with Jalen Hurts starting at quarterback. They've won 15 of them. It seems like the NFL world forgot how good the Eagles were. The NFL gets such 24-7 attention that obvious takes get old. The Eagles have been great since week one, but there were other shiny toys to pay attention to late in the season. As the playoffs approached, you didn't hear much at all about the Eagles. It wasn't edgy to pick the Eagles to win the Super Bowl anymore. Saturday night was a reminder that the Eagles were the best team in the regular season and could be in the playoffs too. At halftime, the Eagles were up 28 points on the New York Giants, and they went on to win 38-7. Philadelphia will host the NFC Championship game next Sunday against the San Francisco 49ers or Dallas Cowboys. One legitimate reason the Eagles weren't buzzy coming into the playoffs was the status of Hurts' injured shoulder which caused him to miss two games. There won't be much concern about Hertz after Saturday night. For more sports updates please keep watching our YouTube channel Sportsia or visit our Twitter handle.